Hey guys, it's Melissa. Today is May 17th and I am going to knock this over. i to back it up a little bit. It's May 17th and I am 30 weeks and 3 days pregnant today, which is incredibly hard to believe. I'm in the single digit countdown now till my due date. Single, yeah, single digits. Wow. That's insane. <coughs> So first thing I want to say is I have some dishes going in the dishwasher. So if you hear that noise, I apologize. I need to adjust. <laughs> okay. So last week's vlog was a little bit TMI. This week is going to be just a touch TMI, not, not too much. Um, but last week I had mentioned that I was bleeding because I had sex. Um, I'm just actually now stopping bleeding. Hey Bubba. Sorry, you might have seen that cat walk by. Um, I'm just now stopping bleeding, so I don't think it had to do with just having sex. Um, I was doing a lot of nesting in the 29th week, and I think I overdid it some. I have been taking it much easier and not moving around furniture or anything like that. I just couldn't leave stuff alone. I have my baby shower next Saturday, and I really wanted to get the house organized because it's being held at my house. Oh, sorry. I still have a lot of indigestion. Oh, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, I've just been taking it easy. And what are you doing, Pat? Don't knock stuff over. Okay. Sorry. So, for... The things that stick out in my head the most, I notice I am a lot more emotional lately. I seem to be sad a lot of the times, like easily agitated to the point of tears. It doesn't take much to upset me, and it's not like angry, angry upset, it's like sad, sad, upset, which is unfortunate. Um, I just, it won't be anything in particular, it'll just be me having one of those days, but I've noticed I've been a lot more emotional lately, which sucks. I hate being emotional. However, my anxiety level, I cannot believe I'm going to say this, my anxiety is gone. I have no anxiety whatsoever. I love being pregnant, I love every second of it, which... Never did I think those words would come out of my mouth. <clears throat> yes, I've dealt with infertility, but for the first 20 weeks of my pregnancy, I hated being pregnant. I absolutely hated everything about it. And it's not that I wasn't, I was being ungrateful or anything like that. It's just my anxiety was so bad. I just wanted to be able to have a little window to my womb to make sure that she was okay. And of course, when you're pregnant, unless you have an ultrasound all the time, you don't get to see how your baby is. Now that she's starting to move, she's kicking me now, right up here. Um, now that she's starting to move, I'm definitely a lot more reassured. And I love being pregnant. I love feeling her kicks. I love everything about this pregnancy. And now that I'm over the hump of all the bad stuff, I can honestly say I think it's been a pretty good pregnancy. Even though I... Um, I do have to say for the first 11 weeks, it was pretty bad, <laughs> and that was because of all the bleeding, but that was because of the low-lying placenta. There was a reason for that. I'm glad I'm not one of those, sorry my nose is really runny, it's allergy season. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not one of those spontaneous bleeders and they have no explanation for it. I'm really happy about that. So, um, I did mention last week, talk about um, the length of my cervix which I had mentioned it was like three centimeters or something like that. And I had an ultrasound to check the length of my cervix again. And I had mentioned to the ultrasound tech um, that I was under the impression three centimeters was fine. It was long and I had nothing to worry about. She had commented and said, yeah, three centimeters is a little on the short side. It's not too short, but it's definitely not long. It's still an abnormal measurement. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay then. So 
uh, I'll be interested to see what my cervix is measuring at my appointment next Thursday. I did have to go into labor and delivery again. It was in week 29 because the bleeding hadn't stopped. I can't remember how far along I was exactly. I think it was 29 weeks, three or four days maybe. I don't remember. And I had, no wait, I did... I did my video the day that I had my um, prenatal checkup, and the day after I went into labor and delivery, because um, I was commenting about having the resident doctor. Well, I had him again. Oh, I hate resident doctors. I freaking hate them. I really shouldn't be mean like that and say that I hate them. It's just, I don't like when they work on me. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Um, I had to have another speculum exam and another cervix exam like oh, my cervix still proved to be fine I asked them if they sincerely had to give me the cervix exam and they said yes they need to have a good um, visual with the speculum and they need to feel if it's getting softer so I'm telling you <laughs> I'm so glad my bleeding is done because I really really and truly do not want another <laughs> one of those until I'm in labor. Speaking of labor, I have some super bad news. Well, not really labor, but delivery. Um, as some of you may know, I had a huge desire to get my placenta encapsulated. And that looks like it's not going to happen. I have emailed the only person in my city who does placenta placenta encapsulation with no luck. I'm not getting any response and the people outside of my city want too much money for travel which I understand because it is a long way to come. I mean the next closest city is an hour away and I don't know. I just don't want to fork out that much money. I mean I was already prepared to fork out either one to two hundred dollars and I don't want to do another three to four hundred dollars. Because honestly, I just don't have the money for something like that. So, I would do it myself if I knew how to do it, but I have no idea what I'm doing, and I don't think I can handle my own placenta without throwing up. So that's unfortunate. Um, I also asked about filming the birth. They said that they do not allow filming. However, there is no flipping way after dealing with infertility for seven years that I am not having some sort of a camera set up in the birthing room, whether it be just on the side. Um, that's probably all I would post on YouTube is a side view anyway, where you can't really see a whole lot because, you know, my vagina doesn't need to be on the internet. But, um, yes, uh, I have been asked if we are filming the birth. One way or another, we are filming the freaking birth. I can tell you that right now. Uh, what else? I still have super bad headaches. I have been still just as careful with my caffeine intake, but um, my headaches aren't as long as they were. They're still sometimes super, super bad, but they don't last as long. I notice I've become extremely, extremely um, more and more tired. It just seems like I could never get enough rest. I'm usually in bed every night um, before midnight. Well, definitely before midnight. Sometimes before 10 o'clock at night. And I toss and turn all night long because I cannot allow myself. I've trained my body to not lay on my back. Because you're not supposed to when you're pregnant. Um, when you're further along anyways. So, I only sleep on either side and my hips tend to lock up on me which really really sucks um what else baby is still head down she just likes it down there i don't i don't know she just she has only ever been um head up a couple weeks of <laughs> this pregnancy it seems um but the nurse or the ultrasound tech made a comment because she she checked um my cervix and then she wanted to look at the baby's heart, so she let me have a peek at her for a couple minutes. She is freaking huge. She is so big. 
and she has grown so much since her 26 week ultrasound. It's actually scary. Um, of course, she didn't do any measurement or measurements or anything like that of the baby, but oh my flipping god, seeing her on that screen and only her head being in the shot, it's like, what the hell? I hope I don't have a 10 pound baby. <laughs> Uh, we'll deal with that, of course, but um, it, she's grown so, so much, and uh, she said that she was facing my spine, and head down, and ready to go, <laughs> so I'm hoping she stays in that position for another nine weeks. Uh, cloth diaper haul is coming up, I'll probably, I'll be so excited, it will be here on Tuesday, I ordered a whole bunch of cloth diapers from Alba Baby. I have like 22 diapers coming. And I've done a lot of research and everyone says they're pretty comparable to Bum Genius. And a lot of people say that they're their favorite diapers. So I'm really excited. Of course I'll be getting other brands and stuff too. But um, I think Alba Babies is going to be um, probably the main diaper in my stash. And a lot of people have said... Oh, I don't know if you see that on camera. That was a big kick. Um, a lot of people have said their baby is allergic to micro suede, which is what the liner is on the inside. But um, you can get flushable wipes for that, or wipes, liners, flushable liner inserts for that. So I'm really not worried about it. Yeah, so I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, so I will do a 30 week belly shot. This rocker is always locking up on me. Alright, move this thing out of the way. This is 30 weeks and 3 days. This is it from the front. I did want to say that I'm definitely feeling pressure already from her head being down there. It's quite painful sometimes. Like today I was out getting groceries and I really, really, really had to pee. And I just wanted to get in and out of the grocery store. I didn't want to stop to pee um, until after I was um, through the checkout. So anyway, I was waiting there and waiting there and just the pressure from her head pushing on my bladder on oh, freaking believable even walking around when I don't have to pee it's like quite quite painful sometimes anyways I will wrap this up and I will see you um we have some baby shower on a budget series videos coming up this week quite a few are going to be uploaded because a lot has to get done this week and um baby shower haul next I might do that on Sunday before I put everything away not this Sunday but next Sunday and yeah either way I will talk to you at some point next week okay bye